Hello everyone. Welcome to the economics class with me, Virat Chetri, PGT Economics, Kendri Vidyalay Barkuhi. And as you all know, we have been discussing about balance of payments, chapter balance of payments. And today we will be continuing with the further discussion of this chapter. And today we are going to discuss about the concept of balance of trade. Before discussing about the concept of balance of trade, let us recall the very last topic which we have been discussing in our previous class. That was, we have finished our last lesson with the topic that there might be a balance of payment equilibrium or there might be a balance of payment disequilibrium. And when will there be balance of payment equilibrium? There will be balance of payment equilibrium when credit side of the balance of payment will be equal to the debit side of the balance of payment. Okay, and there will be balance of payment disequilibrium whenever the credit side is not equal to the debit side. Okay, <clears throat> now further today we will discuss about balanced surplus and deficit balance of payment. Uh, what do we mean by balanced balance of payment? By balanced balance of payment, it means similar, uh, it has the same meaning as that of balance of payment equilibrium. So that here the balance of balanced balance of payment will be given by credit side equals to debit side of the balance of payment. Okay, now for the balance of payment disequilibrium can take place in two ways. The first way is that of surplus balance of payment. When will surplus balance of payment occur? Surplus balance of payment will occur whenever credit side of the balance of payment is greater than the debit side of the balance of payment. Since we have discussed that balance of payment disequilibrium occurs whenever credit side is not equal to debit side now credit side and debit side may not be equal in two ways first way is that credit side may be greater than debit side of the balance of payment and that whenever this situation occurs that is credit side is greater than debit side then we call it surplus balance of payment in the similar way there will be deficit balance of payment and deficit balance of payment takes place whenever the debit side of balance of payment is greater than the credit side of balance of payment okay we now we will move on to the topic which we are going to discuss mainly today that is of balance of trade but before discussing about the topic of balance of trade we need to know why there is a need for trade okay whenever we are going to discuss about balance of trade we should know why there is even a need for trade why should a country import products from abroad or why should a com country should export its product abroad okay so we need to understand why the trade occurs okay why does the trade occur we see that in india whatever goods we are using okay may not be produced entirely in india for example we have a huge demand for petroleum okay and we have very less petroleum mines in india okay so our petroleum requirements does not get fulfilled by the petroleum being produced within india so we need to import petroleum from most of the middle east countries whether it be qatar whether it be uae etc okay in the similar way there are many products which are not produced in India and we have to purchase those products from abroad. In the similar way, India has a wealth of natural resources like iron ore, coal, etc. And India does export those products to other countries, say Japan. Japan has very less of natural resources. So Japan imports iron ores, etc. from India. In the similar way, India also exports tea because we see that 
though the tea is being drink all over the world but very few countries in the world do produce tea so this is how the world economy interacts with each other this is how one country interacts with other countries okay so this figure will make you clear about how india trades with other countries india imports crude petroleum gold petroleum products these are the major imports of india coal now you might see that india is a very high producer of coal but the coal type of coal found in india is of poor quality coals as you all know from your class 10s social science that there are categories of coals and anthracite is considered as the best quality coal and india has a very few reserves of anthracite coals it is only available in jammu and kashmir so for that purpose india have to import those anthracites from other countries okay now on the other side if you see india export india exports petroleum products this is refined petroleum products to other countries drug and pharmaceuticals that is medicines india is one of the largest medicine supplier medicine exporter in the world gold and precious metals in the form of jewelries iron and steel etc okay now in order to understand the importance of trade nowadays we see that not only because of the unavailability of the products but also because of the lifestyle okay also because of the lifestyle of the human being or the residents in india we see that the residents in india does prefer to purchase some imported products like cars okay like uh cars bikes etc which they want to purchase from abroad like mercedes benz is there audi is there okay lamborghini is there so there are so many high profile brands which people in india whoever is very rich and whoever can afford those product the affluent section they prefer the foreign made products foreign cars okay or foreign uh clothes brands like armani gucci etc so we see that one is because of the unavailability of the resources or unavailability of the product in the country another thing is because to maintain the lifestyle okay we do purchase the products made in other countries or in foreign countries so in order to understand about that let us take an example of few bollywood songs which we have heard about okay which we have heard and i will be giving you an example of three songs uh, two are the latest songs and one is a very old song so before proceeding with it let us first listen to the songs watch the video and then i will relate it with the topic which we are going to deal with today जूता है जापानी ये पतलून इंग्लिस्तानी सर पे लाल तो पीरूसी फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी मेरा जूता है जापानी ये पतलून इंग्लिस्तानी सर पे लाल तो पीरूसी फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी मेरा जूता है जापानी
so you have seen the three short clippings of the songs okay the first song is very old song mera juta hai japani and then moving on we heard two more clippings which were the songs of recent times and in all these three songs you may find one common thing that is in case of mera juta hai japani jo do the <clears throat> brand names are not mentioned but you can easily find out that the song itself says that the shoes are being imported from japan mera juta hai japani patlung hindustani means the pant is sorry patlung english thani means the pant is coming from england and then there is a uh, sar pe lal topi rusi means the russian cap okay here though the brand is not mentioned but it is clearly mentioned that the products used to come from abroad in that time also during the time of raj kapoor and now we move on 40 or 50 years and then move on to 2019 18 and we find songs mentioning lamborghini where lamborghini is an italian car manufacturer and then you have a song in which it is yamaha is being mentioned armani gucci which are a uh, very popular fashion brand of italy and yamaha is a very popular uh, bike producing <clears throat> company of japan so we see that in songs also we have products being mentioned this is how much the trade is affecting our lifestyle and our life okay so we cannot do away with trade easily we cannot manufacture each and everything which we require in our country itself because it is neither economical neither efficient because we don't find everything in our country and if we keep on persisting to produce everything in our country then obviously there may be the cases that though the country might be producing but we have to pay a very high price for those product okay it is so because of the either because of unavailability of the resources or because of the lifestyle related we have to depend on trade okay similarly india also exports a lot of things in the similar way india imports a lot of things and the way, advantage of india and especially china is that of cheap labor and nowadays we see many companies investing in india producing in india and china mainly because to reap the benefit of the cheap labor being provided in india and china so before thinking any negative about trade we should know how the countries are related in this highly globalized world highly interrelated world that we are living so without trade it is not possible okay let us now come to the today's topic that is balance of trade so what do we mean by balance of trade let us see the definition of balance of trade balance of trade refers to difference between the value of or the amounts of exports and the imports of visible items that is goods or tangible items okay so balance of trade means the difference between the value that is the monetary value of exports and the monetary value of imports of only visible items visible items means merchandise or the tangible goods that we can purchase or that we can touch or that we can transfer from one place to another place okay so the formula for balance of trade can be written as exports of goods minus imports of goods 
and in short we can write it as x minus m where x denotes exports of goods and m denotes imports of goods okay now here in the similar way as balance of payment balance of trade may be balanced or surplus or deficit balance of trade surplus balance of trade is also known as trade surplus and deficit balance of trade is also known as trade deficit now let's see what do we mean by balanced balance of trade or balanced trade here import of goods and export of goods will be equal whenever the import of goods is equal to the export of goods that is its monetary value the amount of import of goods is equal to the amount of export of goods we will call it balanced balance of trade or in short we can call it balanced trade okay now further there can be deficit trade deficit balance of trade or trade deficit or surplus balance of trade or trade surplus so how, how will it take place whenever the value of imports are greater than the value of exports okay then it is known as trade deficit remember value of imports of goods are greater than the value of exports of goods whatever goods we are exporting if its value is less than or the monetary amount which we get after exporting goods is less than the value or the amount of money which we get on imports then it is known as trade deficit or deficit balance of trade and the opposite of it will be known as surplus balance of trade or trade surplus and trade surplus or surplus balance of trade takes place whenever the value of exports or the amount of exports that is taking place the monetary value of exports of goods will exceed the monetary value of the imports of goods okay based on this we will try solving some of the questions assessment questions that is okay the first is the value of in the first two questions i have dealt with one particular type of question that is you are asked to find balance of trade and the value of exports and imports will be given in the question okay so here we see in this question itself the value of export is 50 crores and import is 185 crores and we know the formula for calculating balance of trade is exports minus imports so easily we can find out the value of trade uh, sorry balance of trade that is bot equals to exports minus imports we get minus 135 so there is whenever we have this minus sign over here it means that there is trade deficit okay in the similar way i have taken a second question where the value of exports is given as 150 crores and the value of imports is given as 125 crores and we are asked to find balance of trade now here we know exports is 150 crores imports is 125 crores so the formula for balance of trade is exports minus imports when we deduct 125 imports from export 150 we get 25 so here since it is a positive value there is trade surplus and trade surplus is equivalent to rupees 25 crores now we will in both these cases in both these questions we see that the value of imports and exports are given and you are asked to find balance of trade now there may be some other type of questions which we will deal with now okay <clears throat> in this question you see that balance of trade shows a surplus of 1200 crores so here the balance of trade value of balance of trade is given and the value of imports is given 500 crores and you are asked to find the value of exports here also we will write whatever is given in the question bot surplus 1200 crores imports 500 crores we know the formula exports minus imports for balance of trade and here when we replace the value okay when we replace the value of balance of trade we will write 1200 and since it is surplus so we will write 1200 or plus 1200 since it is understood that if we don't write the sign it is plus so we are not ignoring the plus sign here 1200 crores equals to exports minus 500 because imports is given as 500 crores after calculation we get that exports value of exports is equal to 1700 so our answer is value of export will be 7 rupees 1700 crores in the similar way we will take another question here it was surplus trade 
now we'll take a deficit trade so balance of trade deficit is 5000 crores and the value of imports is 9000 crore given we are asked to find exports in both this question we are asked to find the value of exports here also we'll write whatever is given but deficit is 5000 imports is 9000 crores now balance of trade formula is exports minus imports here what we will do is we will write the value of deficit in negative form negative 5000 this will make our calculation easy otherwise if we don't write this negative 5000 here then we may have we will get the answer but the answer in the answer will not get the sign properly and our answer may be wrong so whenever we depict it by minus over here then it will be easy for us to solve the calculation so deficit means minus so minus 5000 equals to exports minus 9000 after calculating we get 4000 as the answer so the value of exports is rupees 4000 crores here you have to remember one thing whenever surplus is given you don't have to mention the sign over here because it is understood that it is plus and whenever deficit is given you have to write minus over here so that the calculation becomes easier otherwise what happens is if you don't write the sign over here what you would have done is you would have done that minus 9000 and this plus so whenever 9000 goes there 5000 minus 9000 you would have got minus 4000 as answer so it would have been a wrong answer okay so always remember whenever deficit is given you have to mention minus over here in balance of trade now these two questions deals with finding the value of exports given the balance of trade and the imports now we will further take two more questions in this question you see exports is given balance of trade is given and you are asked to find imports and here it is deficit so keep that in mind uh, we write the given things here now we write the formula and then we see that here also because there is deficit in balance of trade we are writing it as minus 90 exports value is given as 63 crore 63 we have replaced it imports we are asked to find so after solving this we get that the imports is equal to 90 plus 63 that is 153 so the value of imports is rupees 153 crores in the similar way we take the next question here instead of deficit there is surplus 500 crores the value of exports again is given we are asked to find imports now here also we see that balance of trade surplus is given we write the given value over here in the similar fashion we write the formula and here we replace balance of trade by 500 because surplus it is given as surplus so we don't have to mention minus sign or plus sign over here because it is understood that whenever we write only the value of the balance of trade it means that it is in positive terms so 500 equals export is given 900 and imports we are asked to find so here ultimately we find the value of imports as 400 900 minus 500 that is okay so the value of imports is rupees 400 crores in both this question we see that balance of trade is given and the value of exports is given and we are asked to find imports okay and we need to keep in mind whenever the trade deficit is given you have to replace it with negative sign and whenever surplus is given you have to just mention the value okay hope you have understood all the six calculations you just have to remember two things one is whenever the deficit is given you have to write negative and you have to remember the formula okay now we will move on to few of the data related to indian economy since we are hearing a lot of news regarding india and china right now because india and china is having a border standoff right now and uh, there are people who are asking for us to boycott chinese products now before understanding that let us understand how much india is dependent on china or how much china is dependent on india in terms of trade so i have come up with a few data over here statistical data which in fact is available in the department of commerce statistics okay and this is export import data bank and here in this 
uh, slide particular slide i'll be discussing about the export country wise and the figure is given in values in rupees lakhs so it is here if you see it consists of 2018-19 data and 2019-20 sessions data here the data is uh, potential data or uh, here it is not a complete data because the figure data available is from april to february only and since we know that the financial year comprises of april to march the last months that is march data is still not available and because of the pandemic since everything was locked down so maybe because of that we are not getting the current figure right now so it is a probable figure here now here if we see in terms of export how much does india export to the top 10 countries to which india is exporting here and we see that china ranks third in case of india we export almost in 2018-19 we exported almost five percent of export share of india was to china okay and we exported almost 1.17 lakh crore worth of goods to china and this year we have already sold this year means 2019-20 session we have already sold almost 1.1 lakh crore worth of goods to china so this year also if we see the percentage share exported to china has increased from 5 percent 5.0 to 5.3 percent okay on the other hand how is india related to china in terms of import if we see india imports the maximum amount of goods imported to india is from china okay and after that comes usa so china dominates almost 14 percent of import share of india comes from china and we almost import imported sorry in 2018-19 we almost imported five lakh crore worth of products from china okay and in 2019-20 we imported almost 4.4 lakh crores worth of goods from china and the percentage sale increased slightly from 13.6 to 14 percent okay of our import total import comes from china so we are very much dependent on china in terms of import okay on the other hand in terms of export uh, china india is not that much dependent on china but india is still sorry china is still is the third largest country to which we are exporting so this data shows us how india is dependent on china both in terms of import as well as export china is also importing our goods and china is the third largest country which is importing our goods it is not only one way trade that is going on there are two way trades obviously india is exporting less than whatever it is ex importing from china okay now let us compare the two countries that is china and usa how india is related to these two countries in the year 2018-19 india exported almost 1.17 lakh crore worth of goods to china on the other hand it imported 4.92 lakh crore worth of goods from china okay and there was since import value is greater than export value so there was trade deficit trade deficit of almost 3.74 lakh crores okay and in the year 2019-20 india exported almost 1.1 lakh crore worth of goods to china and imported 4.4 lakh worth of lakh crore worth of goods from china so the trade deficit here is 3.3 lakh crore okay as we compare it with previous year 2018-19 then obviously the trade deficit has been reduced but remember here we are taking only 11 months data and here it is a complete 12 months data so here march is missing because the recent data is not available till now okay now if we compare it to usa then in case of usa we see that we export almost 3.6 lakh crore worth of goods exported 3.66 lakh crore worth of goods to usa and imported 2.48 lakh crore worth of goods from usa 
so here since export is more than import for india so as a result what happened here we see that the india has trade surplus of 1.17 lakh crore from usa in 2019-20 also we exported almost the similar amount of goods here since one month is missing so we can say that almost similar export value 3.48 lakh crore worth of export was there from india to usa and 2.36 lakh crore worth of import of goods have been done by india from usa and when we compare uh, when we calculate sorry balance of trade then we see that there is trade surplus because export from india is more to usa than whatever india is importing from usa so there is a trade surplus of 1.11 lakh crore okay we see that here we you see a very huge number these numbers are in terms of lakh rupees so when it is being converted then we can write it as 1.1 lakh crore worth of <coughs> trade surplus is there for india from usa okay now these are in values in rupees lakhs okay as we have seen in previous two slides also now if we compare india's scenario with that of china's trade statistics okay then we see whatever uh, call that we are hearing right now in news channels in televisions in radios in newspaper etc we are being asked to boycott the chinese product okay it has some political implications obviously because of the border issues and all but we need to understand it from the economics background as we all are the students of economics even though i am teaching economics in class 12 level but we too are a student of economics and we have to understand it from economics perspective not from a very much of a political perspective okay now let us see how much impact does india have if india boycotts everything that is being produced in china if india boycotts everything every products whatever is coming from china if we are able to <coughs> boycott it then what percentage share of export are we going to affect for china only three percent okay export partner share okay it means that out of the total export that china is making to the world okay only three percent of that export comes to india on the other hand india exports that is china imports almost 0.88 percent of goods whatever goods they import from other countries if all countries combined together is 100 percent then the goods imported from india is 0.88 obviously we see that there is a huge trade balance that is balance sub uh, sorry trade surplus for china coming out of india this all data is of 2018 only 2018's data latest data is not available the latest that is available is of 2018 in world bank side that is wits.worldbank.org and we see here that 58.03 billion us dollar worth of trade surplus is there to china from india okay so obviously this is one thing so the suggestion is that instead of boycotting the imports if we can raise our export to china then we may be in a better position than right now china may be much more dependent on us and we too may be dependent on china and both the way we can affect each other's economy here we see that we often see that china has a border dispute with many countries including hong kong okay it tries to control the uh, political scenario of hong kong and we see that hong kong is one of the major importers of goods from china we almost 12 percent of china's export goes to hong kong united states the highest importer of chinese products see here okay almost 19 percent of goods being imported sorry being exported from china is to usa okay isn't this an interesting figure if you see vietnam china has a border dispute with vietnam also and we see that 
Vietnam imports, sorry, China exports more percentage of goods to Vietnam than India. Okay, so we see here that instead of boycotting or instead of completely not importing any goods from China, what we can effectively do is raise our exports to China. And when we can do that, then this trade deficit which India has or the trade surplus which China has from India can be reduced. Okay, so this way we can make more impact to China than simply boycotting it because we will be boycotting only 3% of its exports share if we see it. Okay, now further moving on to the topic that we have been discussing in our chapter. Okay, this is a very important topic for you all for the boards that is difference between balance of trade and balance of payments. Here also you will find that this question will come of three or four marks in your board question. If the, it comes for four marks, you have to write four differences. And if it comes for three marks, you have to write uh, three differences each. So let us see the differences. The first difference is that balance of trade, as we have been discussing, only deals with the value difference between the value of imports of goods and export of goods, visible trades only, visible items only. On the other hand, balance of payments. If you see the case of balance of payments, in case of balance of payments, as we have discussed in our very first class related to balance of payments, we see that it records everything, all the transactions, not only the visible items, but it also includes invisible items, capital transfers, income transfers, unilateral transfers, etc. between the residents of a country and the rest of the world during a given period of time. Okay. Now, as we all know, balance of trade only includes visible items. Balance of payments, on the other hand, includes not only visible items, but it includes invisible items, that is services, unilateral transfers, capital transfers, income transfers, etc. Okay. Here, it does not record any transactions of capital nature. Now, let us recall whatever we have learned in our last class. In last class, we learned that there are four components of current account and one of that components is visible items okay and since balance of trade deals with only visible items obviously it is not going to affect capital account portion on the balance of payment it is what is written over here it is not it does not record any transactions of capital nature okay and balance of payment records all transactions of capital nature it not only includes the transactions of current nature but it will also include the transactions of capital nature so balance of trade obviously is just a part of balance of payments so balance of trade is a narrower concept and balance of payment is a wider concept and whenever there is trade deficit or surplus it can be covered by other components of the balance of payment okay on the other hand if there is some sort of disequilibrium in balance of payment then it cannot be covered by changing the balance of trade okay however the balance of trade disequilibrium can be met out by balance of payment but in case of unfavorable balance of payment that is in case of balance of payment disequilibrium it cannot be covered by the changes in balance of trade hope you have understood whatever we have discussed today okay <clears throat> so we have come to an end for today's lesson and hope you have understood everything you all are studying very well back at home stay safe stay home and keep studying thank you thank you very much